Hello and welcome once again to the Tech Explorers channel. In today's um, episode, we want to quickly and very briefly attend to the challenge that most freelancers and Upwork have with respect to withdrawing their um, payment or their money from Upwork platform. A number of persons have reached out to me asking how can they avert these charges that they are charged on Upwork whenever they want to withdraw their money because I have been privileged to withdraw a couple of times from Upwork without incurring any charge, all right? So today in this recording, I'll be showing you exactly how I do that. Now join me as we go right into the business of the day. If you want to withdraw your money from Upwork, I do not recommend immediate withdrawal because immediate withdrawal will always, and I mean always incur charges for you. So what do you wanna do? Head over to your settings by clicking on the image here, that is your profile, and click on settings. Once you click on settings, it may ask you for some um, verification, like putting your password and stuff like that. Okay, so here I am. I need to impute my um, digit codes to show that this is me assessing my account. So give me a moment to get that done. Okay, so after imputing my um, authenticator app code, I was asked to impute my password. Now, these security measures are very important because accessing these settings, this category called settings, is almost getting access to all the back end of your Upwork account, especially for those of us that share accounts with people. Say, for instance, you have an hourly job that you want someone else to do on your behalf. Okay, it's best, it's best that you have all these security measures in place so that even if the person have access to your account to do the job on your behalf, they do not have access to your settings. Okay, because if your, if your settings is just easily accessible, it means anybody who have access to your account can go over to your settings and pay themselves with your own hard-earned money. So you want to avoid that by putting out all these settings layers, okay, all the security measures, the authenticator app. I'll quickly show us how to do that once we get past this stage. All right, so right now we're putting in my password and continue to the next phase. All right, so here we are at the back end of our settings, okay? This is where we refer to as the engine room of your Upwork account. Anybody who have access to this part of your Upwork account has access to everything as far as your account is concerned, all right? So since we're gonna be discussing payment method here, we we'll quickly head over to this category just at the extreme um, end, at this section, so let's take this out. At this end called Get Paid, okay? Here you have Get Paid, click on Get Paid, and that should take you over to the different payment method that you may have integrated into your system right now i have withdrawn almost all my funds and this is what is left here okay so what i want to recommend is that whenever you want to make payments or whenever you want to withdraw from upwork do not wait until the very day you want to make that withdrawal usually what i recommend students or or uh, people reach out to me to do whenever they want to withdraw their money from upwork is to position themselves as a salary earner. And by this, it means that you should schedule your payment such that you have a specific time of the month when you want your payment to be withdrawn. So that once you set that up, whether you're sleeping at that exact time, Upwork will initiate the transfer on your behalf. That is the secret to withdrawing on Upwork without getting charged. So what do I mean? Right now, let's assume I want to withdraw this $119.21. If I click on Get Paid Now, Upwork will take me through the process. In fact, if I click on Get Paid Now, it would ask me, uh, telling me that I will be charged, you see this, I'll be charged $2 for this transaction. And then this is what I will eventually get, all right? But how do I avert this $2? Even though it seems small, okay? Even though it seems small, 
you discover that by the time this money gets to the third party payment gateway like Payoneer, I'll also be charged. And that is how charges continues to roll out from this little fund that I'm trying to withdraw. So in order to avert this, I'll cancel this. What you should do instead is for those of us who have a third party payment gateway like Payoneer, PayPal, GecPay, and TransferWise and the rest of them, you should already have the details of these payment gateways intact, all right? And then head over to edit schedule because what you want to do is to schedule your withdrawal, all right? You want to schedule your withdrawal. And to do that, you come over to this section where you have edit schedule. All right. Now you schedule when you want your payment to be done. Usually, you can either schedule on quarterly basis, monthly basis, twice per month, or weekly. Now, if you want the payment to be done immediately, say you need it probably tomorrow or you need it uh, next week per se. You just have to look at the closest date possible. But of course, if it's an emergency, you can go ahead and incur the charge and use the option get paid now and you get your money, all right? But if you are not in a hurry and you can wait till the closest date possible, for instance, today, as at the time of shooting this recording, is the 19th day of April 2023. So, and which is Wednesday. So if I actually need this money out and I don't want to incur any charges for myself, I will just have to look for the closest date possible. Otherwise, if I am not in a hurry at all, I can choose that this money of mine should be withdrawn on a monthly basis or twice per month or on a weekly basis. Today is Wednesday. If I choose weekly basis, it means the next time that a withdrawal will be done on my account will be next week. That is one week from today. All right. Uh, apart from that, you also want to you also want to set up the minimum amount that you will be withdrawing. Because in my case, what I have in my account right now is about one hundred and nineteen dollars. Now, do I want to withdraw one hundred and nineteen dollars when I am not in a hurry? Of course, I don't want to do that. So I also want to tell Upwork when should the withdrawal be done on my account when. It is up to five hundred dollars or more, and I can decide to change this option as well. Do you want the withdrawal to be done only when you have up to a thousand dollars in your account, or you want the withdrawal to be done anytime you have up to two hundred dollars in your account? You can set that up as well. All right, make your choice. For my case, I chose five hundred dollars. All right, and it can be done weekly. All right. So once that is set, I also want to leave some reserve balance. Usually, I recommend this. I recommend this and I set it to 15. The reason is because sometimes, after withdrawing your fund, you may run out of Connect. And you want to buy Connect to, put, to, to be able to apply for more jobs that will earn you more money. But if you withdraw everything out of your Upwork account, the only way to buy Connect will then be to link your card. And sometimes, your card may be declined. So you don't want to take that chances, all right? So I usually recommend that you leave some token, at least 15 or maybe less for those of you, you know what works for you. Just use your discretion in this regard, all right? But leave some residual income. Leave some reserve balance so that you could use it to purchase Connect whenever you want to, all right? Or whenever you run out of Connect. Once all these are done, the next thing you want to do is to click on save changes. Mind you, this would only be applicable if you have linked a preferred withdrawal method. And I'll show us quickly how to do that. So I'll save this quickly and you will see a notification stating that the next time I'll be entitled for payment is next on April the 26th. Remember I said today is April the 19th. All right, so if at all the payment will be done, Based on what I have just set up, it will be on the 26th of April. And it will only happen if my balance, okay, my available balance is up to $500, okay? And I have already chosen a preferred payment method. Now, if you do not have a preferred payment method set up, 
this is where you want to quickly do that come down to withdraw method and click on add payment okay add method and you have a series of different payment options here you can use your paypal you simply set it up and once you do that uh, there is a recording on my channel you can just search through the channel or i'll drop the link to some of this recording right on this uh, description of this video all right so you can look around that to see how this can be done all right in my case i use payoneer so in your case if your payoneer has not been linked just under paypal you'll find payoneer all right or if you want if you're in nigeria like me and you want the money from upwork to be converted directly to naira and sent to your naira account which i don't recommend because the money will be converted with the cbn rates and you will be receiving less compared to the person who transfers this money to their domiciliary account and goes to the black market to change that money they will be receiving more all right so i don't recommend this method but if you want that you can go ahead and use this method just click on setup and that will be you'll be taken through the process you can also use wire transfer for usd okay or you use the direct to us bank account all right this is the preferable option for those who don't have paypal or payoneer account all right uh, if you have issues creating a paypal or payoneer account you can either check uh, the description below to know how to go about that or reach out to me with the contact details right on that option or you can if you already have a get pay account a transfer wise account all you need to do is enter into those platform if it is transfer wise go to your us dollars account details copy out the us dollars account details come down to direct to us bank transfer click on setup and follow the instruction there okay um this is not the jurisdiction of what we are covering what we are covering in this very video is simply how to avert getting charged whenever you're withdrawing from upwork all right so um, if you want me to take you through this process just drop a comment in the comment section and i would consider that all right so this is exactly how you can set up your um payment options and once that is set up then you can go ahead and schedule your payment okay as soon as you schedule your payment you are assured that whenever you are withdrawing from upwork because the, the, the transfer will be initiated by Upwork, all right? So you don't have to do that yourself. And once Upwork does that, because Upwork usually have affiliations with some of these payment gateways. So once the initiation of the transfer is done, you will not be charged. You will receive the exact amount that was withdrawn from Upwork. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, take your time to click on the like button that is a thumbs up button so that other freelancers like you can also stumble on this and then find a useful resource for themselves if you have not subscribed of course you want to do that because every time i roll out helpful videos just like you can see all over my channel videos can be helpful to freelancers like yourself if you want to get notified every now and then when i post videos that can be helpful to you as a resource you want to take your time to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon so that you will get notified as soon as a video drops thank you and i'll see you in another episode if you have a question just drop it in the comment section and i will be glad to reply you as soon as possible